Hey guys, it's Anna. Today I'm going to make a video for you on how I do my makeup when I'm getting ready to take photos. I am going to do my makeup for you and show you guys how I do it. I am not super skilled at makeup by any means, but this is super easy and the products are really affordable, so I wanted to share this with you guys, so hopefully it would help you guys too. It is 9 a.m. here and I just walked to the Sunrise Shack and I got an iced matcha so I am going to enjoy this and do my makeup. I have nothing on my skin right now. I showered last night and I washed my hair and scrubbed my face and went to bed with face oils on and they absorb really nicely and that just really preps your skin for the next day, especially if you're going to put makeup on. It just makes it nice and plump and so it's not dehydrated and product won't stick and you'll have a nice finished canvas. So I normally put a headband on. It's really helpful to put it on for when you're doing your makeup because then your hair is out of your face and the light is hitting your face evenly so you can see how your makeup's going on and make sure that it is even. So my first step and my first product is one that I use absolutely every single day. It is the Garnier Clearly Brighter Anti Dark Circle Eye Roller. I literally use this every day. I've used it for years and I absolutely love it. I always have sleepy eyes. It's just something that I have genetically because I have thin delicate skin under my eyes and it's a little roller and I Just roll it a couple times under each eye and Sometimes if it's not coming out just roll it repeatedly in the same direction and that gets the product to come down There we go using your ring finger This is my favorite product because it is so thin and sheer and it blends really really nicely. It doesn't crease at all. You can't even see it. It doesn't even look like I have anything on my skin. But my next step is my foundation and I use the L'Oreal True Match and I have found that the Neutral 3 works best for me. I love this foundation because it's really lightweight. There is cool tones, there's neutral, and then there's warm tones, and then there's a number range in each one, so you can really find one that fits your skin tone perfectly. I actually have a couple different ones. I have one of the lighter versions in Michigan because I'm always paler when I'm home in Michigan. Next up is to just add a little bit more under eye concealer. So I use the NYX and it is the light pale version. And I use a tiny little concealer brush like this and I just pat in the paste just to get a little bit. And then I just do light tapping. And then I have the Laura Mercier, the Secret Brightening Powder. And I have had this for so long and it lasts forever. This one is a slightly more expensive and more high-end product that you would have to get somewhere like Sephora. And then you want a nice fluffy brush.
So this powder does two things. First, it's going to set that concealer that you put under your eyes so you're not going to get any creasing. And secondly, it brightens the area because it's a white translucent powder. So it just bounces the light off of that area when you take a photo and when you're in the light. So next, I have the e.l.f. Duo Palette and it is in the St. Lucia. Um, it is basically a copycat product of the NARS palette, which I used to have all the time, but I go through this product pretty quickly because it is my favorite one and I use it whenever I do my makeup. So I found this dupe of it and I got this one because it looks almost exactly the same. However, it does have slightly more shimmer in this palette versus the NARS. So that would be the only thing if that is a concern of yours and if you're trying to avoid any shine or shimmer, then I would suggest getting the NARS version instead. I have an angled brush and I just pat the bronzer a couple times and tap off excess. I just kind of suck my um, cheeks into my mouth a little bit just to define that area so I make sure I stay in the right spot as I'm applying and I just go really lightly and make sure you're going on an up angle rather than down because you want it to cut your cheekbone in rather than making that whole area dark. I also always define the edges of my face around my hairline and sometimes I'll blend that down under my chin just a little bit because I protect my face with sunscreen hats and so my body always ends up tanner than my face so just to blend it in a little bit I always just frame out my face a little bit with the bronzing powder. Now I have a small e.l.f. blush brush. Pat it a couple times on the blush and tap off the excess. I am normally in warm climates and I am in Hawaii right now. So I like to add a little bit of blush down my nose and at the top of my forehead just to give me that flushed and slightly sun-kissed look. Now I have the NYX Shimmer Palette. I've had this palette forever and I really want to get a new one but I've been having trouble finding it because it has the perfect shimmer in it. I take the same blush brush and I just press it into the shimmer a little bit and then I tap it off. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. So that is my face makeup. I don't use any matte powder or anything like that to set my face for day to day and my everyday Instagram photos. I like a nice glowy, healthy complexion. Then I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, but I haven't filled my eyebrows in in forever. I love this pencil and I have used it before to fill my eyebrows in when they were thinner because I had been over plucking them, but these are my natural eyebrows. I'm just lucky that my dad has crazy eyebrows and I got them so I just have to maintain them with tweezing them and I just brush them. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes because it opens up my eyes and I sleep with an eye shade every night so my eyelashes get smushed and they're turned down like that you always look sleepier and not as bright eyed so I just like to fix them in the morning because I always mess them up when I'm sleeping. Now I'm just going to put on a little bit of mascara. I use the L'Oreal. I've used this one for years. My mom uses this one. It's a really good classic one and I really like the type of brush. It's a really nice fluffy brush. Whenever I pull it out though, I always scrape off almost all of it. 
And when I get a new tube of mascara, I open it and I'll take some paper towel and I'll wipe it off a few times because there's just so much product in it and I mean, you just can't get the brush totally clean. It always ends up so clumpy when it's a fresh tube. And I just start on the outer corner and do very light strokes. Okay, so now for the bottom lashes, I hardly touch the bottom outside corner of my lashes just to define it a little bit, but if I do too much, I don't like the way it looks on my face and I feel like the lighter you go on the bottom, the heavier the top looks and so that opens your eyes up and makes you look all bright eyed. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I only recently discovered matcha and I absolutely love it. I don't know why, I always kind of thought I wouldn't like it, which is weird because I love tea and I love coffee. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't like it, but I did. I just had that in my head and I was like, no, I'm not going to like it. But I recently started drinking it and it is amazing. It's now my favorite thing and I prefer it way more than coffee, which is saying a lot. So my next step is the NYX nude stick and it's the retractable twistable one that's adjustable and I only twist a little bit out at a time I just go very very lightly and just outline them a little bit and I blend it so it's a very soft effect I don't go harshly to the corners or anything I just kind of focus to the middle of the top and the middle of the bottom and then just lightly stroke out each way and that just gives the illusion of your lips being a little bit bigger okay and then I always leave this in my cabinet because I put it on every day when I go in the sun the Neutrogena SPF 20 lip soother I love this stuff I get the gleam 40 and it's a perfect color and it feels amazing and it's menthol -y, so it makes your lips all cool you don't need much of this stuff I repeat you don't need much of this stuff and then, on. Okay guys, so I'm all done. This is my final makeup look. I'm really happy with how it looks. My skin looks way more smooth and bright and healthy than it did before. And I feel like I look really awake. My eyes are nice and bright. And I just have a really nice like healthy glow, which is what I'm going for. I don't like a super heavy makeup look and you can't really see the product sitting on my skin, which is perfect. I hope you guys liked this look and I hope that you guys get to try it out. Please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it guys. I appreciate your support so much and I'm having a ton of fun making these videos for you guys and letting you guys get to know me a little bit better. So thank you for the support and the love. I appreciate it so much. Bye guys.